Today's lesson is hands-on, where we will use place value to divide. So you've been using this strategy pretty much your whole life as you divide things between friends or family. So if we have 37 things and we're dividing them between three people, we can use our place value blocks. So there's 37. And then we're going to divide these between three groups or three people. So there's my three groups. Then I'm going to just move these into my groups so that each person or each group has the same amount so that it's fair. We always want things to be fair and equal. So I can move this 10 into the first group, or second 10 into a group, third 10 into a group. Now I've passed out all the tens. Now I'm going to pass out my ones. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I have this one, one left. It wouldn't really be fair if I gave it to any of the groups. And for the sake of this lesson, we're going to say we can't divide that one into smaller pieces. I'll say these are like balloons or something. So we can't just divide a balloon into three pieces and have it work out. So that extra one is just going to go over here on the side. And now all the groups are even, and we have one left over. So our answer, we have one ten and two ones in each of these, which makes 12. And they all have 12. We want to make sure they all are even. And then we have this one extra. So this means 37 divided by 3 equals 12 with a remainder of 1. So your remainder is whatever's left over that you can't put into any of the groups or they'd be uneven. Here's a second example. 54 divided by 4. So this time we have 50 four, and we're dividing them into four groups. So I move a ten, our second ten, third ten, fourth ten. I still have a ten, but I can't put a ten into one of these groups. Once again, that wouldn't be even. So I'm going to take that ten and divide it up into ten ones. And now we can pass these ones out. So they each get one more. Now they each get a second one. I have enough to give them all a third one. But now I just have two left, which once again it wouldn't be fair or even to give two of these an extra one. And these are something we can't just cut in half, so we're going to put these two over here on the side. So each group has one ten and three ones, or thirteen, and we have two remaining over here. So we get thirteen remainder two. Something to remember, our remainder is always going to be less than the number of groups we have. So we have four groups, so we call that our divisor. So if we ever had five left over with a divisor of four, that means we could really give each person or each group one more. So you always want to check your remainder with that divisor to make sure that it's less. And two is less than four, so we're good. One more example, the opposite. So we want to write the division sentence shown. So this time they have all the pictures for us. They want to know what the problem was or our division sentence. So first I want to see what my dividend is, how many total things I have. So I have seven ones and I have four tens. So I have a total of 47 things. And then my divisors, how many groups I have. So I have one, two, two groups. So I have 47 things divided into two groups. And my answer, 
I have 23 in each with a remainder of 1. So my division sentence is 47 divided by 2 equals 23 remainder 1. Now you're ready for your practice problems. So we're doing like we just did. So you're going to write the division sentence shown. So here are the place value blocks. You need to figure out the division sentence. Go ahead and pause. You should have gotten 39 total divided by 3 equals 13. So 39 is our dividend, 3 is our divisor, and 13 is our quotient. Second practice problem. Here you need to use models to find the quotient. And your problem is 63 divided by 2. Go ahead and pause. Okay, this is what it should look like. And your quotient is 31 remainder 1. Okay, you're ready for your problems. Your first problem, write the division sentence shown. Go ahead and pause this. And your second problem is to use models to find the quotient of 68 divided by 3. Go ahead and pause this. And then you'll show me these answers tomorrow. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful day.